You know, the members of our majority understand how important it is to avert the fiscal cliff. That's why the House took action earlier this year uh, to replace uh, the sequester uh, with other types of cuts. Uh, and it's also why in, over the summer we passed a bill to extend all of the current tax rates uh, for one year uh, so that we had time uh, to overhaul uh, our tax code. Uh, and it's why I outlined a responsible path forward where uh, we can replace the spending cuts and extend the current rates, paving uh, the way for entitlement reform as well as tax reform uh, with lower rates. Now, 2013 uh, should be the year we begin to solve our debt through tax reform and entitlement reform. Uh, and I'm proposing that we avert the fiscal cliff uh, together in a manner that ensures that 2013 is finally the year uh, that our government comes to grips with the major problems that are facing us. This will bring jobs home, result in a stronger, healthier economy. And a stronger, healthier economy means more Americans working and more revenues, which is what the President is seeking. Uh, this framework can uh, lead to common ground, and I hope uh, the President uh, will respond uh, today in that same spirit. As I said on Wednesday, uh, this is an opportunity for the President to lead. Uh, this is his moment to engage the Congress and work towards a solution that can pass both chambers. 